Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It's Easy Pictures to Draw. I'm Enrique. Hopefully you're having a great day. This is part three of the video of uh, where to go if you are a beginner. Uh, if you're a beginner at drawing, if you're around the beginner level, even if you're a novice, this will help you out. Uh, where do you go and what, you know, this is the third in the series. So if you haven't seen the other two, go check out the other two. Uh, they're very valuable. Go check them out. And uh, this one's going to be more about kind of what you can do, what can make it easier, and uh, you know what are some ideas that you could kind of like again make this experience amazing and uh, you know kind of rewarding for you. <coughs> and it's going to be different for everybody. So I'm going to give you my opinion on that. And so that's kind of it. This is what the video, this topic is going to be about. So. I already told you in the last videos, um, you know, kind of dexterity, hand issues, uh, things of that sort. The second one's about structure. Do you know where can you learn on your own? You know, etc. This video is going to be, like I said, on uh, where do you go from there once you're actually learning. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things that really motivate me, and I'm going to see if you know you're motivated by them as well. So uh, motivation. Um, that's actually all you really need. At some point, you're going to be learning. You're going to have to need to stay motivated, and that's kind of up to you. It depends how much fun you're having. You know, because for me, I, I like, for example, I have a friend of mine who doesn't want to be a career artist, which is fine. You don't have to be a career, a career artist. But she, every time we draw, she's like, oh, my, my hands are bad. Uh, why did I draw that bad? You know? And I, you know, feel bad for her. You know, and I'm like, well, if you just practice it a little bit more, you can do it. So, the more mileage you get, the better you are. Uh, mileage is such a big thing, and by that I mean like miles in a car. If you're practicing drawing, you already know what you're gonna practice. Full steam ahead, go through it fast. You're gonna go through that beginner level so much quicker than you think. If you just, like I said, after the learning, you just mileage, you just start drawing as much as you can of that stuff. Uh, be careful you couldn't grain bad habits. I would show your pictures online somewhere and then people can maybe give their feedback. Um, just that would be a really good idea to give, get feedback from somewhere and then you can keep going forward. Uh, but like I said, a lot of that, a lot of that stuff is going to autocorrect the more you draw. So mileage is very important. Uh, motivation. Find out what motivates you about it. Uh, find it. And here's a good one. Find one topic you like and pick it and stick with it. See what you can do with it. You know, that's a really good one. A friend of mine draws nothing but animals. Check that out. Uh, that'll motivate him to draw every single day, and that's what he does. He draws all the time. Uh, think about it like this, right? Drawing's a skill. If you were to, if you were to, okay, like playing the piano. If you were to play the piano, if you were to, let's say you were gonna, you know, practice a, the, an instrument. If you practice once a week, you're probably not gonna be that good. But if you practice like five times a week, you're gonna be pretty dang good, you know? So you're gonna proportion how good you wanna be with how often you do it. And, you know, that, that's up to you, and it, you go at your own speed, but it will go quicker than you think, and it's fun, and it's rewarding, and you're going to have a skill. You will have a skill in your arsenal, and it's such a good thing. It improves you as a person, and it improved me. Uh, it is thus the most rewarding thing I've ever done is learning to draw, and I continue to learn to draw different things today. It is so reward. It's a never-ending thing. I'm never bored. I am never, ever bored. There's never a day I'm bored. I don't understand it. I read people and say, you know, online, they're like, I'm bored. I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Like, are you serious? Like, I got so much to do. I don't even know what to do with all my time, you know? So hopefully you become that way. Let me know how it goes. Tell me what you think in the comments. Also, if you want to learn more about this topic and how, you know, the stuff of the mentality of art and how to get through certain things mentally and maybe some principles to kind of, you know, tailor your practice around how to get you know better faster essentially more efficiently check out my program the 22 steps to becoming a better artist that's a series of videos it is a series of 22 videos all talking about different little aspects of the mental game maybe breaking through barriers or how often to practice and that is something that I put together um, you know for essentially people that follow me you can check that out uh, click the link on the page or click the link in the description if you're on a mobile phone and you know thanks a lot guys uh, that's the end of the video series uh, you know hopefully these three videos gave you a good start um, you know please let me know so I'll talk to you soon guys later